$20 for a haircut. Actually, $5 for a haircut. $15 for the hat you got to wear next three weeks. <laughs> Got a doctor's office up at the Walmart. Holy smokes, people going in there. I was there the day they gave a guy three months to live in there. And uh, he ended up getting hired as a door greeter once he walked out that door. <laughs> I had to go get a flu shot one time. I didn't want to go to the doctor. And my wife goes, well, shoot, run up to Walmart. They're giving flu shots. Are you kidding me? I ain't getting a flu shot at Walmart. <laughs> that gum, normally I gotta get vaccinated before I go in there. <laughs> get a flu shot at Walmart. The flu's the last thing I'm worried about at Walmart, all right? <laughs> that gum, they probably got Ebola behind a box in there somewhere I didn't know about. <laughs> I was up there one time, made a dude out front in a hazmat suit. <laughs> I'm like, is it safe to go in there? He goes, yeah, why? I go, you're in a hazmat suit. He goes, I know, I work here. I'm collecting the carts. <laughs> so every time I go up my local Walmart, I'm friends with a lot of folks up there, but every time I go up there, I see Doug. I always wave to Doug. I walk in, what's up, Doug? Doug kind of, eh, you know, every time. Hey, Doug. Let me ask you something. Have you ever called somebody the wrong name for about five years? <laughs> they don't even acknowledge you're calling them the wrong name. Just make you look like a douchebag for five years. Well, I finally got to talking to Doug three days ago. Her name's Denise. <laughs> <laughs> so my buddy rented out. He wanted to save money on his wedding. He rented out of Walmart, got married at a Walmart. It was unbelievable. Got married in the jewelry department, and we had the reception in the deli over there. And we all got our pictures took in the photo booth. And then we left. They had the honeymoon in the men's room. It was unbelievable. It was a wedding made in China. Let me ask you this. Have you ever gotten a wedding invitation from somebody that you barely know? What the hell? It's like getting a bill in the mail. <laughs> I hate weddings. I was the one a while back, holy smokes, I ain't seen the bride was overweight, but whew. My buddy caught the garter belt. He's still been using it to tie up cordwood on his pickup truck. <laughs> If you've never been to the circus, go to Walmart after midnight. You're bound to see a couple of bearded women, a toothless wonder, and the fattest man in the world on a scooter up there. They got good deals after midnight, though. Last time I was up there after midnight, 75% off self-esteem. That's right, I walked in there like this, I walked out like this. I was like this. That's right. You can get everything at Walmart, except good customer service. <laughs> Holy smokes. Here's my impression of the hiring practices at Walmart. Let me ask you this. You ever cared about anything in your entire life? <laughs> no, all right, you start Tuesday, all right? <laughs> We'll put you in the DVD department. <laughs> My wife wanted to go to Walmart. She's trying to find the cheapest mop she could get for something she's doing. So we go to Walmart, get a mop, $4.95. Go up there to pay for the mop, and the lady goes, you want to buy the protection on this? <laughs> you know what? I think we're going to risk it this time. All right. Got a 95% chance we're gonna throw that away when we're done with it anyways. So. <laughs>